If you look up hummus recipe on YouTube, you're gonna find over one and a half million videos about how to make hummus. And every one of them is pretty much the same. You got your tahini, your lemon, your garlic, your chickpeas, your olive oil. Today, we're gonna make a hummus recipe that's unlike anything you've ever had before. And it's from the 14th century. It's gonna be a super high protein, which should give you a hint of what's in it, but maybe not, a super delicious, unusual hummus recipe. Let's get cooking. This recipe comes from a 14th century Egyptian cookbook, which was discovered by Nicole Hansen, one of our Mediterranean food historians who lives in Egypt. In this hummus, there will be an array of wonderful ingredients you have never seen in a hummus recipe before, beginning with fresh parsley and mint. The introduction to the ancient cookbook speaks of the health qualities of this hummus, also known as hummus casa, and claims it can increase a man's libido, which actually makes sense, as so many of the ingredients in this recipe increase circulation in the body. We are going to begin by washing and drying the fresh herbs. If you don't have your own herbs growing in the garden, try buying the freshest, hopefully organic herbs you can. Dry the herbs in paper towels or a clean dishcloth or a salad spinner. Next, chop the herbs in a food processor. Of course I realized they didn't have a food processor in the 14th century, so they chopped everything by hand or used a mortar and pestle. But we are going to use a food processor. Now this recipe calls for one and a half cups of chickpeas. I would opt for making them from dried beans if you have the time, as it will make for creamier chickpeas, but one and a half cups just happens to also be the amount in a 15 ounce can. Pour the rinsed and drained chickpeas onto a plate and simply mash them with a fork. Be careful not to over mash as it will change the consistency of this unusual hummus. It's okay to leave some chickpeas whole. Next, add one quarter cup of the best extra virgin olive oil you can find to a large bowl. Then add one half cup of tahini and a half a cup of red wine vinegar. Next, add the mashed chickpeas and mix well. Now we are gonna begin adding a whole bunch of ingredients that will make this a truly unique hummus. Beginning with a quarter cup each of pistachios, walnuts, almonds, and chopped hazelnuts. We are going to roast our nuts over a skillet on medium heat. The nuts are going to add a crunch to our hummus, as well as adding protein and omega-3 fatty acids to this anti-inflammatory recipe. While the nuts are roasting, it is time to add the spices to the herb mixture in the food processor. Begin with 1 8 teaspoon thyme, then 1 8 teaspoon caraway seeds, a quarter teaspoon coriander seeds, and process all of these together. Next, process the roasted nuts for around 10 seconds until chopped, but not over chopped, so there is still a good crunch. Add the nut and herb mixture to the bowl with the chickpea mixture, and then salt to taste. So this might not look like your typical hummus, but I'm gonna tell you it's delicious. And the final things that you add to it are just a squeeze of lemon juice, this is also what makes it very Mediterranean. Lemons and olives. So we add, you can add green or black olives on top to make it even more Mediterranean than it already is. And that's it. 14th century Egyptian hummus that is just out of this world. And if you make it for a party, you're gonna find that people are gonna be talking about it and wanting the recipe. And speaking of the recipe, you can find this recipe on MediterraneanLiving.com along with many, many other recipes from the Mediterranean diet. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit with an olive. Mm. It has so many flavors that you don't get in a regular hummus. And it's crunchy and full of amazing herbs, super delicious. So remember, love with abandon, live with purpose, and eat with passion. See you next time.